You have never had a bean pie yet made out of straight beans. Then I'm about to show you how to make the best one you're going to have. Roll that beautiful bean footed. We're going to take a can of great northern beans, but you can use navy too. But you're going to need to drain these suckers out. Get all that nasty bean juice out of that. And then you're going to rinse it just for to get all. You don't. Look, the bean juice just look like it just tastes and smell like old sweaty gym socks. Dump it in your neutral blender. I'm going to use that. If you got a food processor, you can use that too. But this works fine for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this top on here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm going to get the. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to get the. I'm going to put the top. Okay, wait a minute. Let's try it again. I'm going to get the. All right, get the top. Okay, god dang it. Get the. Okay, get, get the top on there. Okay. Blend it. Yeah, that's not going so well. So we're going to add a little almond milk. You can use regular milk if you want to. Put it back on there. Blend it again until it comes out like this. Looking like a smooth bean slush. I already part-baked my shell. Don't worry about the piece of my pie crust that's missing. Dump this into a bowl. Get all that goodness out of there. You want all that bean slushy coming out. Now we're going to take a half a stick of butter. Melt that joker down. Dump it into there and give it a butter bath. And you see this light brown sugar. Take a half a cup. Put that in there. Then we come back with a whole cup of that Blanco, that white sugar. Put that in there. A little pinch of Himalayan salt. Now we got some cinnamon in them. We're going to take that cinnamon in them. Add that in there. You can't have a bean pie without it. Then we're going to take some nutmeg. We're going to add some nutmeg in there. You cannot have a bean pie without cinnamon and nutmeg. Normally you put vanilla too, but I ain't got none. So now mix all this together right here until it becomes smooth. Once it looks like this, we're gonna take a third cup of all-purpose flour and we're gonna dump it in there. And it's only to bind it because I'm not using eggs. You can use eggs if you want, but I don't like eggs. Let's go ahead and pour this into the pie shell. I was able to get two pies out of this and here's the finished product. Look at that right there. Yum, yum. Give me some beautiful bean pie. Hit that subscribe button if you like this.